We've got Chef Michael Salakas back with us here in the kitchen. He's sharing some of his family favorite recipes. And uh, earlier in the show, I teased that we were going to grill watermelon. Yeah, Never just, heard of it. Yeah, just give it a little bit more depth of flavor. It takes something that, you know, we all know and love It's summertime. Watermelon, it's a little sweet. Yeah. Very charred a little bit on the grill. Give it a little caramelization. Uh, and just, serve it with a little cheese. I just I would think that it would just melt as soon as it hits the grill. You know, look, at it, cut it really thick, yeah. right? I mean, that's one of the mistakes you would make. If you cut it too thin, it starts to get a little bit sort of mushy. Right. You don't want to do that. We just want to get a nice little char, some caramelization. There's a lot of sugar in the watermelon, so as soon as it hits that heat, it's it gets a caramelization. Caramelize, yeah. And, you know, think about, like, barbecue, a little bit of smoky, a little bit of sweet. And then we have some very young cheap milk cheese called manuti. We're going to throw that on the grill, Monty. too. All right. Is this Mediterranean traditionally to, to do this uh, grill, you know, or is this would, your I, take on it? You know, this is kind of me being fun. When I was a little boy, we my mom used to just take watermelon and have it out in the table with feta mm -hmm. cheese. Such a wonderful combination, that sourness of yeah. the feta, and then you have that sweet watermelon. So here we're sort of being a little bit more playful, adding another layer of flavor with the char and the smoke from the grill. All right. Uh, it's just a lot of fun, super easy. Just throw it down. Let's do some char. I literally just take it through yeah. the sink. Just right down. Go ahead. All right. I'll get in there. Let's just leave some. And then, and what have you have you coated these in oil a little bit? Just or? a little bit of oil, I'll season it with some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna throw down a little bit of this manuti cheese as well. Manuti cheese, that's sheep smoked cheese. It's a young sheep smoked cheese from Greece. Think about uh, maybe you know ricotta salata, of the course, Italian yeah. version of it. So I always think about dessert and summertime, and you know not making it complicated. You're outside. You know I love fruit. We always ate fruit growing yeah, up. Yeah, for sure. So this is just taking it up, kicking it up another notch, and being playful. So this happens super quick. I mean, you oh, can that. see. Oh, that looks just, beautiful. The grill a marks and a little caramelization yeah. right there on top. I see it. So I think we're, 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 you know, pretty good. If you want, you can push down on it. That'll help it just a little bit. So you got a little bit more on this one here. Great. And all we're going to do is we're going to move it over to this plate here. And that one go a little longer. And I can see the longer you leave it, the thicker the caramelization gets yeah, on and, top. And, you know, again, I think it's something that you play with. It's, you know, everybody has their own, I guess, interpretation of what it should be. Yep. This is a very interesting cheese, and the and this is something that Greeks do a lot. We call it saganaki, just frying or grilling cheese. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. It keeps itself. You would think that it would melt, but it really doesn't. It doesn't at all. And then we're going to cut a little bit up. I mean, it's really, really good. Boy, it's wonderful. like custard now. It's yeah. really right. thick. That looks really so delicious. good. I am going to try that. Hang on. Mm. Well, that's good. Yeah, it makes, a, it makes a really big difference. And the it's char on it, as you said, it gives it a smoky flavor and feel. It feels backyardy. It feels yeah. summery all of a sudden. It really does, doesn't it? Really I think great. Anytime you introduce, like, barbecue or that char or that smoky flavor, you start thinking about summertime. That's fantastic. Yeah. You're just going to finish off with a little bit of oil. A little bit of olive oil. And then believe it or not, if you have some fresh mint, we had a garden in our backyard and we used to just run over to the garden and pick some fresh mint or some fresh dill, throw that on there, and finish it off with a little black pepper. Fantastic. I mean, super easy. That was easy and it looks beautiful and it's really, it's a really great unique dessert. Thank you very much and happy Father's Day Thank to you. Thank you, you too. Enjoy Absolutely. it. Absolutely. You can find these recipes on our website, bettertv.com. And of course, if you're in the New York area, make sure you check out MP Taverna.